My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable two-year-old little boy. On our channel, you'll find simple and tasty dinners using everyday ingredients. For dinner tonight, we are having barbecue chicken. I had chicken in my freezer, and this is what we use to season the chicken with. Um, tried this out for the first time today, reggae country style brand Caribbean chicken seasoning. For those of you that don't know, Howard is from Jamaica, that's my husband. And we recently went to a little Jamaican market here um, in Texas and found it. And then we also are using this jerk barbecue seasoning. I think I got this from Kroger. I'm pretty sure I got this from Kroger. So this is what the chicken looks like. And here is our dinner plate. Um, we are having chicken and then I made some baked beans. I do have a video on how I make how I make baked beans on our channel and I'll link that in the description box and then we are just having some green beans. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. For dinner tonight, we are having Motor City Pizza Company. I have this in my freezer. It is the four cheese variety, and I have never tried their cheese pizza. I have had their cheese breadsticks, and the difference between the pizza and the breadsticks is that the breadsticks have like a cheese sauce on them as well. And I wasn't crazy about that cheese sauce. But anyway, uh, the cheese pizza has mozzarella, Parmesan, Asiago, and Romano cheese. If you're not familiar with um, the Motor City pizza, it comes in this pan and you bake it in the pan. And then I just took it out so I can cut it up. But let me try to show you the bottom crust in case you're not familiar. It's like a, a deep dish pizza. Here's what the bottom of the crust looks like. Just like that. So it's really crusty and cheesy. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, we are eating from our freezer. I had half a bag of this um, bulgogi, beef bulgogi mandu in my freezer. It is from Costco. We really like this stuff a lot. So I just went ahead and pan fried up the rest of the stuff that was in the bag. And then we also had some Trader Joe's chicken fried rice in the freezer as well. It comes with peas and I always take those out. I'm not a big fan of peas. Here it is. I do cook my fried rice in the skillet. There are microwave and stovetop directions. I always use the skillet and I always fry it for longer than it says so that it looks more like restaurant style um, fried rice. But anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, I am trying out a recipe I saw on Facebook. So the original recipe calls for um, Italian sausages. I happen to have bratwurst. I have these in my freezer. I bought a big pack of them and then I separated them, thawed them out. And then you're supposed to um, split the sausages, not all the way through, and then stuff them with mozzarella cheese. So I have a couple of string cheeses that I'm gonna use. And this block, I'm just gonna cut it up and stuff the sausages. Then I am going to saute some peppers. And then I'm also going to be using this tomato basil sauce. So I'm gonna put some of the tomato basil sauce on the in the pan right here. And then I'm gonna add my stuffed sausages. I'm gonna add my sauteed peppers and see how it turns out. Okay, so this is ready to go into the oven. I ended up adding about a half a jar of the pasta sauce. So I'm gonna bake this for about, I guess, 45 minutes or so. Okay, so here's our dinner. I ended up baking this for about 50 minutes, serving it over some spaghetti and a side of garlic bread. So for dinner tonight, we are eating from our freezer and pantry. In my freezer, I had some short ribs and Howard grilled them up. And then I'm serving them with a side of green beans and mac and cheese, just using some good old Kraft macaroni and cheese. And then the green beans that I'm using are from Trader Joe's. I had about a half a bag in my freezer to use up. And then I seasoned them with this Korean barbecue seasoning and this mushroom seasoning from Trader Joe's, sauteed them in a little bit of grapeseed oil. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time.